Hi everyone or uh, good afternoon. Uh, uh, now it's already 5 o'clock. So thanks for you guys supporting and watching the live. So for today's live is about the STBA Biology Semester 3, Chapter 17, uh, Chapter 4 uh, for Semester 3, uh, Inheritance and Genetic Control. For this live, I will explain about the DNA replication uh, part 3. So this live will talk about the mechanism of the DNA replication. So for today, I already do three lives. So the first live, uh, morning session, morning live one, I already explained the experiment, uh, to prove that the DNA is a genetic bacteria. And another live, uh, for two p.m. one, I already say the model of DNA replication. So the model is semi-conservative model, right? Okay, okay. Now we have to use the semi-conservative model to know. How the DNA duplicate the detail the detail of the uh DNA duplication. Okay, so firstly, so for the overview, so uh, firstly, I will need to uh explain uh, of the overview of the DNA duplication. So, it, since the DNA duplication model we use is semi conservative, so but so here. Yeah, so semi conservative means that the uh the product DNA produced will contain one is paternal and another one is another one is daughter. The red one is paternal strain and the blue one is daughter strain. So it will produce two DNA la. Uh, it will produce two DNA. The one, the red one is paternal, the blue one is daughter. So from the from for one from one DNA, it will produce two DNA, which the one is paternal, the, the other one is daughter. So this daughter daughter one is the in the strain that need to be produced. Uh, and it is complementary to the parental. So parental strain. So the parental will act as template. So actually in eukaryotic gene uh eukaryotic cell the dna is like this but actually dna is not like that lah. actually dna polycircuit it, it is a double helix structure right yeah sepak to dia dia macam ni tapi tapi to for this diagram we see we need to use more easier diagram to do lah. if i use this diagram uh if use this diagram to show you it will very complicated uh awak akan blur punya so Normally, the book, the textbook, or even you search a uh, video, the length, the uh, DNA strand, it will give you like this. Two line one. So, this one is a double stranded DNA molecule. And then, one, and you know that DNA is very long compared to RNA. DNA is very long. Uh, so, how it's duplicated? So, it has the location of recall as origin of duplication. So, they have to determine the origin of replication first. Baru boleh berlasiakan daughter strain. So, kalau dia sudah ada macam ni, saya guna yang ni, macam sudah ada origin of replication, so that it will become, it will, it will cut down the, cut, cut down the double stranded DNA molecule into the single stranded. So, dia akan, akan jadi macam ni. Dia sudah cut lah. Karena sepatutnya yang ni, sepatutnya yang ni adalah, they have hydrogen bond. They are, they are, they are bind together. Ha, double, double, double helix structure, they are bind together, right? But now, since we have to do the DNA application, there were one enzyme will cut down the, cut down the hydrogen bond to split the, split the, split the double stranded DNA to like this. Sampai macam ni. Lepas tu, dia akan sampai, this is called as bubble lah. Uh, kami panggil dia bubble lah, uh, because it look like bubble, and ah uh, look like bubble, and then you the and then the daughter strain will be produced. Uh, ini lah daughter strain dia akan produce, menghasilkan produce. Lepas tu dia akan lah, like, dia akan lepas tu dia akan cut 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 the enzyme will cut, and then the daughter will produce because they have to one by one. They cannot directly for eukaryotic cell they cannot directly separate separate two two DNA. 
then the baru ada doctor so dia kena one by one punya uh, at the same time you see at the same time hanya ini satu ini satu ini satu uh, at the same time they have body parts oh they bear at the one dna have body part uh, oh, uh undergo dna replication lepas tu dia sudah jadi panjang uh, dia akan jadi panjang they have they were bind they were join together and then to form Two DNA molecule, one is CD, one is CD. So you can see that the dark blue one is parental, the light blue one is doctor strain. So two new DNA molecule are produced. Uh, this is the overall process of DNA replication. So in DNA replication, in the in the in DNA replication, so the first step is to diagonalize origin of replication. The second step is to cut down the double stranded DNA. So the first step is vagonization. You have to vagonize origin or replication. Next step is cut double heli structure. You have to cut double heli structure first. Then you have to synthesis DNA. Uh, synthesis total strand. Total strand DNA. Ha. Tiga step me. You have to determine the tiga step me. And uh, okay, okay. Baru ada two DNA apodil a four. Uh, baru ada dua DNA yang ba ba baru hasil lah. So in this step, actually there are many type of enzyme involved. There are many type of enzyme involved. So I directly show you what are the enzyme. So this is the important enzyme in DNA replication. Banyak. You see that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There are seven enzymes you have to memorize. It is very important. Ha, ha. So I will in during the process I will explain one by one uh, which enzyme will play a responsibility. Ha. Okay. Next uh okay. So this enzyme you have to remember uh, you can you can know there are helicase enzyme, there are single stranded binding protein. Topo isomerase, primase, DNA polymerase 3, DNA polymerase 1, and DNA like this. And DNA polymerase 3 is the major role to synthesis new DNA strain. Yang paling penting lah. Macam mana dia boleh synthesis kerana ada enzyme ni. This is the major role. Yang lain pun juga penting, tapi the major, major, the most important enzyme is DNA polymerase 3. Okay, so... So I will explain one by one. Okay. Okay. First, you have to know that if you know the structure of DNA, uh structure of chromosome in eukaryotic cell, actually our DNA is not like it's not it's not it's not exist in this form in our cell. Kami dekat chromosome kita bukan sahaja exist bentuk macam ni. Kan, kalau exist bentuk macam ni, dia terlalu panjang. You have to know that in our human cell, our gene, our gene actually has content. The the length of the DNA is very long. Ha, it is very long. I don't know exactly length, but I have seen that the exactly length of the DNA in one gene actually can draw, uh, can can draw the earth lah, like that lah. The, the the length of the DNA is very long. Is very long one. So, so in our cell, but you have to know DNA is found at where? It is found in the no nucleus. Hanya dalam nucleus, nucleus sahaja. So more our gene, you have to know in our our human got how many chromosomes? There are thirty three, twenty three chromosomes, and each chromosome have man have thousand million of DNA inside one chromosome. But all of the chromosomes need to be hanya locate the nucleus ada. So if the DNA exists in this form, wah, tak boleh macam mana boleh mana boleh semua dekat nucleus. Ah, awak pun tahu sel ini sangat kecil kan? Dan sel ni dalam ada nucleus semua DNA akan masuk dalam nucleus, akan dalam nucleus one. So if the DNA strand is long, is like this, it is very long, long and uh very long until it cannot. Uh, fixed into the nucleus. So to overcome this problem, normally the DNA, DNA 
in form, it will, will be in circular form. But, 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 nak tak cukup juga, juga. So, normally, it is in super coin form. Macam ni punya. Nah, dia macam ni punya. Macam, awak, ma, macam, la, macam ni. Lepas tu, dia agak macam ni juga. Macam lapan punya, you will see that it is, look like, look like egg shape. Ha. It is called super coin form. Ha. Normally, in our eukaryotic cell, our DNA is in the super, super coin form. Because we need to minimize the surface area of the DNA. Baru boleh DNA, semua DNA boleh docket at the, in the nucleus. If no, if kalau ya double helix structure, it very long until it cannot fit into the nucleus. So we have to reduce the surface area of the DNA. So this is the super coin shape. But that, but this can reduce surface area, but got one problem. It cannot do DNA replication. Ha, dia tak boleh lah. Karena dia supnya terlalu tight. It is very tight. Dia awak, awak tengok macam dia mas, macam tali kan? Tali, kalau tali macam ni, if you break down the Break down the break down the break down the double head structure of here. It will vary. It will become tight and tight and tight until it can it cannot be released already. Until the DNA molecule will be break because it will be it, if you break down it will become it will become very tight. Only can become very tight. It cannot be released at all because this one is already uh very tight structure already. But if you cut. If you cut down the double helix structure DNA, uh, dia akan menjadi lebih ketat lah. Sangat ketat lah. Uh, ketat until, if you cut again, until it can eat the DNA molecule will break one. So, it cannot, so the DNA, uh, the enzyme cannot directly cut the, directly cut the uh, double helix structure in this form, super coil form. So, this super coil form, need to change to circular form first. Ha, baru relax it. Relax it. Karena ini terlalu tight. It is very tight. We have to relax the, relax the DNA first. Ha, baru boleh buat DNA replication. So, the, the, the relax form, siapa yang responsibility untuk relax? So, the enzyme called topoisomerase. This is the enzyme that can enable to make a uh make the the DNA to from super coil form to relax to circular form. You have to know. And then the circular form will become double helix structure. It will become like that. Because circular form is it although it is a very structure, but it also very tight also. Uh, compare if you want to relax at all, it will become like that. Kalau nak relax sampai relax macam ni. Okay, so this is the function of topoisomer. So if you see the Campbell, the function of topoisomer, he say it is break. Uh, severe, severe means my uh severe means that uh. Macam pusing lah, pusing kan, pusing, pusing, and we join the parental DNA ahead of the replication for believing the strain caused by unreading. Dia cakap apa? Uh, if you see this, you maybe, eh, tak faham lah. First time I read this, uh, this sentence, I also don't know. Uh, what is he mean? <laughs> mean, mean? Actually, uh, but if you know know the concept like this, you will know already. So, topo isomerase, so actually, if you have, Read, I don't know, you know, you got read uh, other reference book, uh, other genetic reference book, genetic, uh, not the normal biology book, because this one can be also not talk too detail. If you have read the genetic book, topo isomer, there are two types of, of topo isomers. Type one is this, type two is this. Uh, sorry, 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 sorry. Type one is this, type two is this. Means that type one and type one iso topo isomer is responsibility to relax the circular circular form of DNA into double helix one. Type two is the uh enzyme to responsibility to uh, change the super coil DNA into the more relaxed form circular DNA. Uh, so yang paling penting dia adalah untuk relax punya. So 
So, if you know that circular DNA, dia, dia macam, uh, I just use uh, the, yang dia macam ni kan? Uh, ta, 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 ta. Dia macam ni. Basah lah, macam ni lah, macam ni lah, sorry lah. So, if you see that, ya, macam ni lah. So, I just, I just, I just, eh, macam tek lah, eh, boleh lah. Okay. Okay. Next, uh, for the, because DNA is double handy, so, ya, macam ni. Okay, another sweat. So actually, I just use this one portion only. Actually, all of the all of this line is is double helix one. It dia lapak macam ni punya. Ha, dia nampak macam ni punya. This is circular form. So this is for type one. I say type one first. Type one, the enzyme. This enzyme it will cut cut break ah what you call break break down the enzyme and then it will uh it was a uh, swivel. Swivel the enzyme, the uh, not enzyme, the D, the double helix DNA to become more less form. Dia akan jadi macam ni. Awak boleh nampak? Ah, apa beza tak? Awak boleh nampak ada beza tak? Dia akan jadi macam ni. Uh, tak boleh. Dia akan jadi... Lepas tu dia macam ni. Napa beza tak? Apa beza dia? If you see this, you can see that this this part, this part, uh, this part is more bigger, right? The 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 hole, the hole at the the hole at the at the middle is more bigger, right? Betul tak? So this is the function of the topoisomerase because it need to it will break down the break down the double helix structure and then sui the DNA and then rejoin again. They are gonna rejoin again. But we join again, it will more relaxed form. Lah. You will see that it, will, it is already more relaxed. Tak ada, tak ada tight sampai macam ni. This is very tight. And then this is very relaxed form already. Ha, hanya satu, satu bahagian saja. Tapi cakap, sepatutnya dia akan jadi lah. Dan maksudnya, ini akan buat dia the replication lah. It's, it is ready to make a DNA replication already. So that is why it's break and swivel and we join. So, it first it will break the DNA first, break then it will switch the DNA. Ah, uh, they are pushing ah, uh, uh, pushing DNA to pushing DNA to pushing DNA to. Jadi jadi dia kembang sikit. Lepas tu dia akan rejoin back the DNA. Also will form double helix structure, but it is more relaxed form compared to the type form. They are jadi jadi relaxed ah. Uh, I want to tengok lubang tu lubang tu jadi besar sikit. So, uh, so uh, uh, had a replication for relieving the strain caused by unbreeding. So this is the cause by unbreeding lah. This this is we call as unbreeding unbreeding process. This is the type one uh punya process. So ini lah tujuan ni. Kalau kalau awak tengok ni lubang sangat kecil, if you want if you want to uh directly break down the and uh, directly break down the, the double heli structure, it will become uh, more, more entire because it will become more entire because it is sangat tight. Although it is already circular form, but actually it is more tight. More it is, it is tight also. So we had to relax them. We had to unreading them. Uh, unreading the DNA first. Uh, yang ni ada lubang besar sikit, uh, barulah boleh buat DNA DNA replication. Uh, baru uh, baru boleh. Yang ni ada lah untuk type 1 punya. Ini type 1 punya. Type 1. Okay. Lepas tu, type 2 is for super coil to circular. Okay. So, top 2 macam mana saya erase lah. Okay. Uh, type 2 is for super coil shape to uh, circular. Means that super coil macam mana? Super coil macam ni. So, dia macam ni punya. Awak oh, tengok, dia... You have to imagine, this is double helix structure. Ini double helix punya, bukan single-sweated. 
uh, just I just want to draw that. Well, that this is double helix. You have to draw double helix structure. The inside the inside the double helix structure. Uh, and it is in the super coil form. Uh. You have to imagine, you have to ingat uh, it is super coil form. Okay. Okay, so type 2 uh, topo isomerase. They are sama sahaja, just that that uh, type 1 only cuts one, one strand, one strand only. But topo isomerase type 2, it will cut the double helix, uh, both strands. Maksudnya, dia akan cut di sini. Ha, directly cut. Or, uh, normally, it cut here. It will directly cut both strands. For topo isomerase 1, it only cut single strand only. Maksudnya, topo isomerase 1, dia hanya cut ini sahaja. Ha, lepas tu dia bagi jadi dari that. Yang ini, dia akan cut sini. Langsung, like, directly cut the both straight, both, both straight, both straight, and then it will form, it will form like that. Ha, dia akan jadi macam ni lah. Because it already cut. It already break down, break, break, and then it will also go to uh, severe, and then rejoin again. Ah, uh, we join again. So it will form like this. So separate. Ah, kalau awak tengok ni, kalau ada tiga lubang kan, dia is have three, three, three holes. But now only have two holes. This one is more bigger because this is already form circular. So in topo isomer, dia akan juga cut ke sini. So directly, so finally, it will form the circular DNA. Circular DNA. And you have to remember, you have to know it is double helix structure. Just the I think uh for the like for this diagram, I just want to show you. Actually, it is in the double uh double helix structure for like this. Like, macam ni punya, uh, macam ni punya. Okay, so it like this. So topo isomerase. This is the function of the topo isomerase two. It will directly cut down the enzyme, cut, uh, cut down the D, uh cut down the DNA from super coil form into the circular DNA form. Will become more relaxed, and then the type one, type one, one punya, they are can juga uh both the both uh cut down the uh circular DNA into more relaxed form, unwinding the DNA more relaxed. Ah, uh, jadi dia ada lubang besar sikit lah. Ah, uh, jadi dia uh, smooth sikit lah. Uh, so this is the function of the topo isomerase. So this is very important. Kalau tak ada ini Ah, uh, ni DNA replication tak boleh buat punya. Ha. Okay, so this is the first step of the DNA replication. Hanya first step sahaja. First step sahaja. Uh, so first step the DNA replication is we have to change from super coil form into double helix form. Uh, smooth, smooth ha double helix form lah. Smooth double head is four. Okay, so I think it is clear. Okay, sekarang baru sudah uh no next step is we already cut down the cut down the uh already make the DNA become the double headed structure form. So now we have to unwind cut down the double headed structure form to single strand. You have to know topo isomerase uh, is not responsibility to cut down because you see this function it will break through it and rejoin again. Huh. Function dia bukan cut sah, bukan cut. Function dia untuk stabilize, stabilize and relax the DNA form. Huh, punya. So the unwind double helix structure, the function is for helicase. Helicase is the main. It's the uh, enzyme may major role to unwin and separate the parental DNA strand to two single stranded DNA. Ha, helicase. It is helicase function. And at the same time, there are one protein called single stranded binding protein. This one is stabilize the unwin parental strand. Ha, because uh, since the sense it already cut down the cut down uh, already unveil or cut down the double helix structure so it maybe cannot stabilize it is unstabilized already so this protein is play very, very, uh, responsibility to uh, 
uh, to stabilize lah. Uh, stabilize them. Okay, so ini sangat senang je. So, you have to know that allocate is a play responsibility kat tau. So, means that if you see the and uh, they are macam ni. So, uh, actually they are hydrogen bond di sini. So, sekarang dia akan macam ni lah. Ha, it already cut lah. The helicase, helicase akan di ke sini. Uh, helicase eh, sepatutnya akan akan berada di sini. Lepas tu dia cut, 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 uh, sampai ke sini. Uh, because it will, it will form the 5 to 3 direction. Ha, 5 to 3 direction. Uh, akan ke sini. So, ini helicase lah. So, it will unwound already, already make a, make a double center DNA to form single center DNA. And then there are, there are many single center uh, binding protein at here to stabilize the unwound, unwound strain. So to make sure it is stabilized lah. Kalau tak, uh, maybe dia akan potong, dia akan patah juga. Because you have to know, if no hydrogen bomb, maybe dia akan patah punya. Ha, kan? Maybe dia akan patah punya. So the, this pressure responsibility is to stabilize the strain. Okay, so this is the second step. Next, I will go to the most important step. That is the third step. So it is the formation of leading strand. So in DNA, kalau awal kita tengok gambar ni, gambar ni, there are two strands that we have to use. So I use this ah. Okay. So, uh, I. Uh, okay, so this one is the part of the DNA duplication occur. Okay, next I will label. Okay, I label using this color. Okay, so this one, this place, we call replication fault. Ha, you have to remember this, uh, this term. We call it replication fault. And this one, all structure, we call bubble. Lah. Ha, bubble, bubble. And then here, is the origin of replication. Masuknya, replication akan start daripada sini. Ah, uh, Semua enzyme akan bind dekat sini. Dahulu. Okay. Okay. And then, and then, for your information, this is called leading strand. And another strand is called lagging strand. Okay. So, in DNA replication, there are two types of strand will be formed. So, leading strand is the strain that toward replication fault with you, RF. Toward replication fault. Uh, you will see. And then lagging strain is the, uh, is far away from the, uh, from replication fault. Dia akan jauh daripada replication fault. Maksudnya, leading strain akan dari sini. Takkan, uh, saya guna another color, uh, blue color. It will like uh, the CD sampai ke CD. This is leading strand. Sama dengan CD, dia akan ke CD. This is leading strand. Uh, and I will label uh, uh, yang ni 5 pi, yang ni 3 pi, yang ni 3 pi, yang ni 5 pi. Okay. Yang ni is the, this is the, uh, I think you all know right, this is the 5, 3, 3, 5, this is the uh, location of the phosphorus. Uh, for uh, for for us okay uh okay so leading strand is will uh but DCD original replication they are can form the strand DNA strand from from the origin from the origin replication toward the replication fault so this one is leading strand you need leading punya okay next is about lagging strand. Okay, lagging strand, I use yellow color. Lagging strand is the, uh, is the, it will away, is the formation of the strand that away from the, uh, uh replication fault. Masonia, they are by sini. They are by sini. They are sini. They are sini. They sini. They sini. Di sini. Awak boleh nampak, kalau awak boleh nampak, why I, why I, ada potong-potong punya. 
Kalau dapat ada portofolio punya. Portofolio punya. Ha, nanti awak awak akan tahu memang dia akan ada portofolio punya. This is the one of the difference between leading sweat and lagging sweat. Ha, dia ada satu potong ada ada satu lubang-lubang ke sini punya. Memang ada punya. Ha, kenapa nanti awak akan tahu. Dia ada dia ada lubang ke sini. So lagging sweat is from start from here. Ha, it is away from the lubrication for until it reach the origin of lubrication. Inilah lagging swing. Ini lagging swing. So you have to know carefully differentiate between leading and lagging. So leading swing is toward replication fault. Lagging swing is far away from replication fault toward origin of replication. Ha, replication fault ini adalah satu arahan. Ha, itu macam satu 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 uh, arahan. Untuk bagi tahu awak sama ada dia away or to work. And then you have to know in DNA replication, all of the uh, synthesis is, all of the synthesis is in 5 prime to 3 prime direction. Ha, senang saja. Kan awak dapat you label 5 prime to 3 prime, means that another, the, the doctor said is, Five, this one is 5 pi, this one is 3 pi. And then you this label this one. This one is 5 pi, this one is 3 pi. Ha, masuk ni, dia akan, awak kan, awak kan, kan sini. 5 pi to 3 pi. So, I already say, leading strength is uh, formed from the original of, uh, of replication. And then, it will directly add more DNA. Dari sini, say, add, 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 Sama sahaja dengan legging sway. Mula dari sini, dia pun masuk, 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 masuk. Ah, sampai sahaja. Sama sahaja. So, all the DNA replication is 5 pi to 3 pi direction. Ini kan nak ingat. Ah, examination normally in OBJ question, true force question, dia akan keluar ni punya. So, if you mengeliru, if you keliru, ah, rugi lah. Ah, ini tak boleh salah lah. Ini ah, tak boleh buat salah lah. So, it is at 5 pi to 3 pi direction. Okay. Okay. Ini overview sahaja. Hanya overview. Next, I will next I will proceed to form the leading strand. Okay. So, leading strand, actually, you already know. So, dia dari sini ke sini. Dia dari sini ke sini. Okay. So, yang ni, yang ni gambar dia bagi besar dari avian Avian ni punya. Uh, yang ni avian tanker. Okay. So, firstly, you have to add uh, uh, the, yang mula-mula saya cakap DNA polymerase is the main function that play major role to add nucleotide. One. Add nucleotide. Nucleotide into new add nucleotide to form to form the strain. Yeah. Betul kan? DNA polymerase 3. Polymerase 3 ya. 3. Bukan 1, bukan 2. You have to specify lah. 3. But, in real situation, actually DNA polymerase 3 tak boleh direct add nucleotide directly. It cannot add nucleotide directly. Dia tak boleh. Ha, langsung tak boleh. It cannot directly add, add, add this... Uh, uh, because DNA polymerase it only can add nucleotide when there is the end of the right, at the three prime end of the it only can add nucleotide at uh, at the three prime end of the OH group. There hanya ada three prime end of the OH group. There baru boleh add. Kalau tak, kalau awak semua sudah kalau baca kosong kosong punya, dia tak boleh punya. Ini, ini, ini adalah spesifik dia lah. Uh, dia hanya boleh add the and add the nucleotide at the three point end of OH group. Uh, macam ni lah. So, so since the DNA polymerase cannot directly add, so now I need another enzyme called RNA primase. So the another enzyme RNA primase will play the major role. Play the major role to synthesis RNA primers. So, yang ini hektar uh, merah ni is the RNA primers. Uh. RNA primers, uh, betul ke? Oh, bukan, 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 bukan. Yang ni, tak ada polymerase. 
RNA polymase, the, the CD data body. But the RNA polymase, RNA polymase at here, here, it will bind to the origin of replication and then it will synthesize RNA polymase. So means it is RNA, uh, bukan DNA. Uh. Why it called RNA polymase? Because RNA polymase. But some book, tada RNA lah. So in Campbell, I think it also don't use RNA. So I uh, just use polymase only. So actually you can use polymase. Uh. Okay, okay. Uh, polymase. So you can directly use polymase. Okay. Polymase. Just a polymase. Polymase will bind to the origin of replication and then it will synthesis RNA primer. So RNA primer is what? Actually, it is a nucleotide, but it's RNA form. RNA form. So RNA, you know that RNA, it will be AUCG. They are other than RNA. Yeah. So they will be have the possibility uh, of U occur at here. Because U is the spatial nucleotide for RNA. Uh, if DNA is T. So this is the RNA. So they are akan add some of you synthesis RNA primer with the certain length of the nucleotide. Tak banyak, hanya short, short, uh, short distance only, short, uh, short distance only, short length only. Dia tak banyak. Because this, because the major, the major uh, objective to add RNA primers is to let the DNA polymerase tree can add the nucleotide at the three point end of OH group, ha, of the, uh, of the nucleotide. Okay, so kalau sudah add, so masuknya ah ini sudah ada three point n lah, the free three point n at here. Ada three three point n at here lah, free free three point n here. So DNA polymerase tree can bind to the primer primer RNA primer, then it will can synthesis the nucleotide synthesis the strain ah the leading strain lah, add by adding the nucleotide until it to ah ah toward the replication form. So they akan synthesis dari sini ke sini lah. Until if until it near the replication fork lah, uh, then, then it stop. Then the DNA polymerase is done its function. Ha. So leading strain is very senang saja. So the in summary, the first step is they are primase. Primase is to what synthesis RNA primer. Kenapa dia nak synthesis RNA primer? Because DNA polymerase cannot directly add nucleotide to the uh directly add nucleotide with the if the three three prime end of OH group of nucleotide is absent, so we have to add the RNA primer. Next, we will next after RNA primer is synthesized, then DNA polymerase three will bind to the RNA primer. I can bind the RNA primer and then it will synthesis synthesis leading strand by adding the nucleotide, adding the adding the DNA nucleotide to it until it reach the replication fork, then it stops. So leading strand is like this. And also I already mentioned it is in five to three direction. It is in five to three direction. Okay, so ini lah leading strand. So I think hopefully you understand what the formation of leading strand. So formation of leading strand hanya dari pada origin of replication sampai lah replication for sahaja. Ya leading strand tak ada. Ha, lagi strand next I will explain. Next I will explain about leading strand. Okay, so leading strand. So Actually, this gambar yang atas punya ni, atas ni punya ni, yang ni atas punya, or uh, this is the synthesis of leading strand. So, sekarang kamu tambah tengok atas punya, yang awak tengok bawah punya, yang ni punya, yang ni, yang bawah punya, yang ni, 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 ini, situation ni, uh, yang ni punya, yang ni punya, uh, tengok ni. Really, this is the lagging set. So lagging set, I already say lagging set. Uh, the gambar they are so is as here. Okay, so lagging set actually it is same. The mula 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 mula. If you uh, see this, this is the replication form. I already say lagging set. It was synthesis far away from 
far away from the replication fault and it was toward origin of replication. Okay. Okay. Lepas tu, the E is actually is normally same lah. The first step. The first step is also, first step is also, you have to buy mix fluffy. Because I already say, DAA polymer tree baru ada lah enzyme yang play by possibility to synthesis DNA. Tapi DNA polymer tree tak boleh add on the nucleotide directly without the free tree prime end of all his group of nucleotide. Tak boleh. Dia tak boleh directly add. So it only can add the nucleotide when the tree prime and OH group is, is present. Ha. So firstly, RNA primers kena ada So, RNA primers, it will synthesis RNA primer. Okay. It will synthesis RNA primer. Lepas tu, lepas tu, DNA polymerase akan, DNA polymerase akan synthesis itu nucleotide. Sampai sini. Eh, sampai sini saja. Why? Because this here got another primer at here. Ini ada another primer at here. So, in lagging strand, there are in simultaneously actually got many type of primates will be bind to here, bind to, bind to here, and then it will start to synthesis the RAA primer at the same time. So, you will see this gambar, gambar got 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 RNA primer kena produce. Ha, semua RNA primer akan bind ke sini, akan bind ke sini, lepas tu dia produce RNA primer, RNA primer pun bind ke sini, dia akan produce RNA primer. Sini pun sama, sini pun sama. You, uh, if you want to ask why, I don't know. I don't, I don't do very vicious about this. Uh, this is the way lah. Uh, inilah lagging strain dia paling, paling complex sikit, dia tak macam leading strain boleh directly toward the toward the replication for for this leading sweat but lagging sweat tak boleh so that is why awak boleh tengok dia ada lubang-lubang punya ah lubang-lubang punya kerana because this is RNA the DNA and RNA is not same by so DNA tak boleh dia tak boleh lah join join dengan RNA ah, kan because there are different type of uh, nucleotide uh, nucleic acid so so actually so Pymase akan add and then by RNA primer. Lepas tu akan banyak DNA, DNA, DNA uh, akan ada DNA polymerase by the RNA primer. Lepas tu dia akan hasilkan DNA uh, nucleotide. Tapi sampai sini dia stop lah. Uh, because RNA primer add here. And uh, ini pun sama DNA polymerase dia akan lahir-lahir-lahir sampai ke sini dia stop juga. Uh, yang ni pun sama RNA primer dia, dia sudah hasil. So inilah kami panggil lagging sweat. So, yang ni. So, so saya saya tuli, uh, lukis. Uh, this is RNA primer. Ini RNA primer. Ini RNA primer. Ini RNA primer. Ha. RNA primer. Okay. Lepas tu. Ay, sorry. Uh, saya guna apa lagi. Okay. Lepas tu, DNA polymerase. Uh, at, 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 sampai sini, dia stop lah. Tak boleh lah. Lepas tu, yang ni pun sama. Eh, 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 eh. Dah stop lah. Eh, kenapa? Kenapa hilang pula? Ah, ya. Ini, ini RNA primer. Okay. Ah, yang sini pun sama. Dia eh, 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 eh. Eh, eh, stop lah. And then, here got another, got another uh, RNA primer. But then, but then, but then, later, but then, this is the uh, Uh, leading strand lah. Uh, ini yang leading strand punya lah. Yang ni adalah uh, yang ni adalah uh, lagging strand. So, lagging what? Which part is lagging strand? So, lagging strand is yang yang ni lah. Yang ni semua lagging strand. Yang ni lah semua lagging strand. So this is the lagging uh uh lagging strand. Uh, yang ni tiga tiga ni lah kami panggil lagging strand. But at but if you want to take an individual one, individual is we call as Okazaki fragment.
Kalau kami cakap hanya satu sahaja, ini satu sahaja, because it is Okazaki fragment. Kalau combine, if if combine, if you combine every everyone, this is called legging sweat. Kami kalau kamu awak cakap hanya satu satu sahaja, ah ini panggil Okazaki fragment. Ah kena beza baik baik. Ah kalau if you if we say Okazaki fragment, just only one. If you say legging sweat, ah ini semua. Ini semua panggil legging sweat. Ha, uh, kena hati-hati ya. Ha, okay, baik. Lepas tu, lepas tu, lepas tu, lepas tu. Since there are iron fiber here, ini iron fiber. There are pieces of iron fiber here. So in UP, in the application, kami kena iron A, kami kena DNA. So another enzyme called DNA polymerase one. It will remove the iron A fiber. So the function is to remove iron A fiber. Ah, they are going to remove the iron A fiber. Ah, so so, the pass to DNA polymerase one akan masuk ke sini. Saya guna kalau lain. They are going to masuk ke sini. Akan masuk ke sini. Baik ke sini. Baik ke sini. Baik ke sini. And remove. Remove, it will remove, remove all the RNA fiber at all. Ha, so more remove lah. And then, okay. Lepas tu remove. After you remove, kan ada lubang lah. Betul tak? Ha, after you remove, dia akan macam ni lah. Betul kan? Dah dia akan macam ni lah. Ayo sorry. Ala, ayat ni lah. Ayat ni saya panggil li. Ah ini lay leading strand lah. Kalau awak remove, semua macam ni lah. Ini ada lubang, kan ada lubang sini. Ada lubang di sini, ada lubang di sini, ada lubang di sini, ada lubang di sini. So mana boleh ada lubang? Kita mana boleh ada lubang? So kami kena, we have to, ah, we have to fill in this hole. So how to fill? So there are another enzyme. So another enzyme called DNA ligase. So this will rejoin the, let rejoin the fragment. Ah. All the fragment, ah, will it will rejoin all the Okazaki fragment or rejoin the lagging strand? Ah, rejoin the lagging strand become only one strand. So they are going to rejoin. Ah, going to rejoin. Yeah, it will fall. It will rejoin, rejoin. So finally, one lagging strand is completed, formed and rejoin. Ah, ini lah. So finally, finally, lagging strand is formed. So lagging strand is more complicated compared to leading strand because lagging strand contain many type of RNA fiber. So we have to remove the RNA fiber and then they have to fill up the fill up the places that be removed by ah uh, removed by ah uh, we have to replace the replace the nucleotide of the RNA fiber and then add on the nucleotide by DNA ligase. Baru lah sak. To com ah the complete new strain is formed ah complete daughter strain is formed ah leading strain sena leading strain sena tapi yang ni lepas tu complete daughter strain is formed lepas tu kalau sudah form ah dia akan jadi dia akan jadi new ah two DNA so hopefully understand okay so 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 Ah, I just want to ah be fast lah. So the first step of the DNA replication is topo isomerase. So topo isomerase ah function dia akan ada lah untuk ah change the DNA for super coil. Ah, to circular. And then to uh double helix. So super coil one is type two and type two or topo isomerase. Circular one is ah circular trace double helix is type one. Next is to synthesis. Ah, not synthesis. Unwin double helix DNA to form to form. Two single-stranded DNA. So, enzyme apa? 
enzyme apa yang yang responsible. So the enzyme is DNA helicase. Okay. Next third step is you have to form a uh, leading strand formation. And also, fourth step is lagging sweat formation. Okay, so macam mana? So, dia macam ni. Lepas tu, uh, okay. leading thread macam mana? So, there are origin of replication at here. So, this is origin of replication. Okay. For leading thread, it is toward, toward, siapa? Toward replication form. And then, this one is far away for replication form. Okay. Okay. Next, origin of replication. So, I uh, uh, first, I form leading strand first. So, leading strand, leading strand, mula-mula, siapa? Siapa dahulu? RNA pymase. Uh, pymase lah. Pymase, kena add dulu. Ha, pymase. So, pymase. Why, why we need pymase? Because DNA polymerase tree tak boleh buat, tak boleh tak boleh add. So, it need to synthesis primer dahulu. So, primer, I use this color. Okay, they have to synthesis RNA primer dahulu. Okay, lepas tu RNA primer, okay, ada tree by N, lepas tu barulah leading strand boleh buat. Ah, macam ni. Yang ni pun sama, uh, ada primer dahulu, uh, I use this color lah. Okay. Yang ni bersama. Ada primer dahulu. Pymase. Synthesis RNA primer. Lepas tu. Barulah ada leading strand. Okay. Macam ni. Leading strand habis. Lepas tu. Lagging strand. Okay. Lagging strand is form. Form. Form form. Original application. Toward. Uh, form form. Uh, form form the application form. Uh, far away from replication for toward origin of replication. So, there are uh, nak mandi panjang primer sini lah. Sini ada primer, ada synthesis panjang primer at here. Ini pun sama. Okay. Ada panjang primer di sini kan? Okay. Same. Uh, primer ni siapa hasil? Primase. Primase yang hasil kat RNA primer ini. Okay. Lepas tu, dia akan form the Uh, for Ogazaki fragment. So, siapa yang for Ogazaki fragment? DNA polymerase tree, same as leading strain. The, because it will add on the DNA nucleotide. So, Ogazaki fragment akan sampai sini. Tapi, Ogazaki fragment sampai sini, dia stop. Why? Because RNA, because got the RNA fragment. RNA fragment is RNA. It different. Uh, different from DNA. So, tak boleh lah. Tak boleh. Dia tak, mesti lah tak boleh join. So, yang ni pun sama. Dia join sampai sini saja. Yang ni, dia join sampai sini sahaja. Ini pun sama. Yang join sampai sini sahaja. Yang join sampai sini. Join sampai sini. Sahaja. Okay. Lepas tu, kami kena lepas tu. Kawan tengok. Ini RNA primer. Eh, kami DNA replication. Nah, DNA sahaja. Saya tak mahu DNA. So, macam mana? So, we have to use another enzyme called DNA polymerase. Siapa? One or two. Lagi siapa nak ingat? One or two. So, DNA polymerase one. Ah, uh, One to buat apa? Remove RNA primer. So, I need to remove RNA primer. So, the I, uh, DNA polymerase, dia akan remove lah. So, saya so delete, 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 delete. Yang ni pun delete, delete, delete. Okay. Lepas tu, awak tengok lah. Ayuh, ada lubang ni. 
eh lubang ni boleh ke wah ini ni panggil DNA picture DNA mana ada lubang peta-peta macam ni so we need to join so siapa yang join ha, siapa yang join ha, siapa yang siapa yang join tu so, siapa yang join so DNA ligase DNA ligase will rejoin the Okazaki fragment So, it will rejoin again. Ya, join. Yang ni, uh, yang ni pun rejoin. Lepas tu, rejoin. Lepas tu, rejoin. Lepas tu, dia rejoin. 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 And then, rejoin. Ha, macam ni lah. So, finally, the... Finally, this is lagging swain. Ini, leading swain. So finally, leading swing, lagging swing, and then they, if we if we already if they move move to work, move to work, they will form more. Ah, uh, they will form more and ah uh, move to work, and then you you have to know they ah uh, they are another replication form, and then they form 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 form. Sampai lah satu total swing is fully to form one di one new DNA, and then finally two do two DNA ah uh, two DNA will be formed by the semi conservative model. Ha, so ini lah cara overall of the DNA replication mechanism, and then the paling penting the mechanism direction is five pi to three pi. Ini paling penting because in OBJ question memang dia akan tanya because for the analysis question lah, ah uh, two four question or have one two three four punya question. Ha, five pi to three pi. Remember five pi to three pi. Five pi to three pi. Five pi to three pi, ha. You have to remember this. So and uh, also the enzyme enzyme that involved in DNA replication. So these are the seven enzyme that involved in the DNA replication. So DNA helicase is the enzyme to unwind the parental double helix at replication form. Single stranded bending protein is to stabilize the unwind DNA. Topo isomerase is to Breaking, swelling, and rejoin DNA strand. Primase is to synthesis RNA primer. DNA polymerase is the main, most important enzyme in DNA replication because it is used to synthesis synthesis new DNA strand by adding nucleotide. And DNA polymerase, why is this work too only ah uh, involved in lagging strand only, lagging strand only. Leading strand need, yang ni both leading strand and lagging strand need to use. Ah, ini kedua-dua anak nak guna. But for DNA polymerase one and DNA ligase, ligase hanya untuk lagging strand sahaja. Leading strand tak perlu guna. So lagging strand for DNA polymerase one is to remove RNA nucleotide primer means that you need to remove RNA primer and DNA ligase is to join the Okazaki fragment of lagging strand. Of ah uh, join the Okazaki fragment to the leading strand so that it can be form one DN one daughter DNA strand. Okay, so that's all for the DNA replication mechanism. So you have to remember, ah uh, the first thing is you have to remember all the step first. Baru remember enzyme. Ha, uh, yeah. If you already remember all the step, baru remember enzyme. Tambah remember enzyme dah. Ha, we have to remember all the step first. Baru ingatkan apa enzyme pada step 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 yang berikut. So there are seven enzyme totally, and step there are four main step. Okay, so this video, this slide is, I think, until here, until here. So again, thanks for your attention and attendance that you can ah uh, watch this watch the live. So. For today, lah, is end lah. So hopefully you can still, still can scan this QR code lah, so that I can know my performance. Ah, so thanks for you. So ah, maybe good. Have a good day lah. Okay, bye.